I use this as an example because this is where Unity was born. She has a beautiful book called The Healing Letters of Myrtle Fillmore. And people wrote into her, she talked on the phones, and she worked all day into the late hours and talked this truth into people's physical bodies and people healed themselves from her faith and building their faith in this greater power. This is all real, folks. I have worked in unity all my life. I grew up in unity. I grew up in all the buildings in this town. And I have watched miracle after miracle. I've seen people heal themselves from the brinks when they can really take this in when they can really, really get away from all the naysayers and the people that want to speak to the illness instead of the power that lives within you. And you can use this. She's not saying just for physical health. It's for prosperity. It's for life. It's for abundance. If you believe that there's something greater, you can change, you can restore your health, your happiness, your abundance, your life. If you're willing to let it. Is your pain body your teacher? Is your story of ill too important to you to keep having a conversational piece to get attention and affections from others? We really have to take the task. You get a lot quieter when you're in this work. You think, is this going to empower myself or is this going to empower someone else right now? Go speak to your spiritual advisors. Speak to your mentors. Speak to the people that believe in your wholeness. If you can't get away from them, leave the country and go find yourself and find yourself abundantly and find your voice, your inner voice, and make the life that you deserve. Stop looking to others to find out validation if I should or if I am or if I can be good enough to receive Life in wholeness and beauty and laughter and joy and fun and excitement and curiousness and yes.